Hello everyone, welcome again. In this software testing tutorial, we are going to understand what is software testing. Now this is very very important question when you go for any interview in software testing or even if you are trying to learn software testing and get into software testing job, you need to understand basically what is software testing before you can learn any other concepts. All right. So first thing we need to understand what is software testing. Watch this video till end so that you do not miss any of the key concepts that I'm going to explain in this particular tutorial. Before we understand software testing, let's first understand what is testing in general sense. Say, for example, you go into the market, you buy any product, you take it back home. As soon as, say, for example, it is an electronic appliance or any kitchen appliance, you plug it in and it, you know, it doesn't work. It doesn't turn on it uh, or if it turns on, it, it, it doesn't work, function properly. What is your feeling in that particular case? You are really annoyed or we get really annoyed with the company or the product, uh, you know, the company that has provided that product. And we question the quality assurance or the quality criteria that that company has for their product line, right? Now, how do the companies ensure that they are delivering the quality product? It is through the testing, right? So it doesn't matter whether you, you are buying a car, you are buying any electronic appliances or anything else, there is always a level of testing involved in any of the product that goes into the market that you buy, all right? So even if you are, you know, uh, taking any of the services, say for example, you are, you know, um, opting for any services, you also consider the quality of the service, right? How the customer service is. So quality is everywhere, whether it's a service or product. Now, when it comes to products, it is basically ensured through a defined or predefined process of testing. So that is in general what testing is. If we talk about the product or any other, you know, like industries, car manufacturing, electronic manufacturing, etc. So they have their own defined processes and tools to ensure that the products that are coming out of the assembly line are being tested properly and work properly before they are, uh, you know, brought into the market and being sold to the consumers and they use it, right? Now, when we correlate that to software, when you test the software, it becomes a software testing. So what exactly is software? Software is any application, say for example, any website you take, any application uh, which, which has complex functionality around, you know, uh, front-end, back-end web services. So any application which uh, fulfills the business logic uh, is sort of software if it is, you know, like a mobile app um, or any other application that is available out there over the internet, right? So these sort of applications are known as software. So softwares are built into, you know, uh, using many different programming languages, for example, uh, like C, C++, Java, there are n number of programming languages that can be used. Now you have mobile devices where you have apps. So these are all software. When you are testing these softwares, it is known as software testing. Now software testing is not a standalone activity. It's a predefined process that you need to follow from step by step and ensure that the particular product that you are um, trying to, you know, uh, put into the market or, or uh, say, for example, an app you want to install or you want to launch it into the app store uh, prior to launching the app, you want to ensure that whatever functionality that particular app needs to provide to the customers, it works as expected. I'll take an example of the app, say for example, WhatsApp, okay? Very widely used. So say for example, you are building something similar or you are, you are creating something similar to WhatsApp. So there will be coding done, right? So once the coding is done, there will be features added. Say for example, I should be able to, you know, send text messages to other people when I, you know, uh, add them in my contact list, right? When I add them in the in the contact list, 
I should be able to call them. So these are, you know, like some of the features that in the WhatsApp or the app scenario, you will basically uh, test before you actually say that, yes, this functionality, say functionality one, functionality two is, uh, you know, make call. All right. So I should be able to make call. Uh, I should be able to text to other person. I should, functionality three, uh, add contacts, right? And uh, then functionality four, say for example, um, add profile picture, right? Add profile pic. So these are some of the functionalities in this particular app. Now this is the app. Now say for example, you want to test an e-commerce website, okay? So e-commerce website. So what functionalities that e-commerce website will have? Sorry about my handwriting, uh, but this is e-commerce website. So say for example, functionality one is, you know, add items. Add items to cart. Then functionality two, uh, remove items, right? Remove items if I want to from card okay so similarly there'll be you know like different so this is the example of the app this is example of the website which will have you know like um, you know all a different interfaces built in integration built in and then you as a tester will follow up defined process so you have this requirement this functionality so for example it will have the requirement or it will come as a user story if you are following scrum methodology or agile uh, agile approaches then you will basically go through those user stories um, and analyze the user stories write the test cases to ensure that these you know requirements that are mentioned say for example adding items into the cart you will write test cases you will then ensure that those test cases actually work as expected right so you'll run the website you launch the website that is being built um, and then you will run those test cases what you will do is you will add the items into the cart you'll try to add the items you'll try to remove the items from the cart and then proceed further so you'll say yes these test cases have passed or these test cases have failed so if any of the functionality doesn't work as it is defined in the requirement you will say it has failed right so this is the overall example or with example um, to explain you what exactly is software testing it is not a standalone activity it is a you know a life cycle and it basically consists of um, all the static approaches and the dynamic approaches so there, there are a lot of activities that need to be involved there say for example once you get the requirement you analyze those requirements as the testing team or tester and see whether there are any gaps into those requirements so that analysis is the static part. Uh, when you design your test cases, you ensure that all the coverage uh, for that particular requirement is there for that particular user story or the requirement. All right. So that analysis um, part is the static part. When you execute the code or when you run the code and actually launch the website or actually launch the WhatsApp on iOS or Android and then you know, click on it or test or follow different steps. That's the dynamic part of the software testing, right? So this is basically, you know, what exactly software testing. That's the first part. It is process. It is, it consists of static and dynamic testing. The second thing is that it is um, meant to find the defects prior to launching the application, right? Before you launch any of the, you know, app or application to the customer, Software testing ensures that your testing team is able to find those errors well in advance before you actually go into the production, right? Now, 100% um, uh, defect removal or identifying 100% defect or making sure that your def your product is 100% defect free is not possible. But yes, still software testing ensures that most of the critical scenarios or the basic basic scenarios are still working the edge scenarios yes there could be possibility it is not possible to test 100 percent it is possible 
uh, that there will be still some you know production defects and that's where that maintenance testing comes into place so this is a brief introduction and correlation of software testing with any other testing into the market and with the you know any of the application or app that you test within the software uh, space so that's all for this tutorial hope i was able to clarify the question what is software testing this is the first and foremost question if you are going for an interview uh, and are fresher or you know like new graduate you will be asked this question so you need you, you need to know how you can correlate it with the real life examples and explain to the interviewer along with you know um, learning the overall software testing from here on so that's all for this tutorial hope you like it Thank you very much for watching.